<laughs> Are we live? We live. You know what Tuesday is? Sixth. Fifth. Fifth of January. Today Chuck died. One year. Wow. Wow. The fifth of January, really? Mm-hmm. Golly. Hello, friends. It is John and Molly. Hi. Back with uh, you guys. We took a little hiatus. Um, had a lot go on. Nothing too crazy. Just life. Yep. But we are back. And we plan on being back. Bringing you guys some good shit. Yeah. Coming your way. Coming at you. So what are we going to talk about, Molly? Since it's just you and I. <laughs> Just the two of us. We are talking tonight about 75 Hard and, bum, our, bum, bum. <laughs> and our experiences with that. We are done. We've been done for a while. Yeah, we've been done. We took a break from all the craziness that went along with that. And now we're actually back at it in phase one of it's like the next challenge with 75 hard, but we're not going to be talking about talking about that. We're going to be talking about the actual 75 day challenge and what we went through and why on earth we put ourselves through that. And I guess continue to. Yeah. It was kind of one of those things that you just sprung on me. Molly's always on like a fitness journey. She has been for so long. And I mean, the things you've done in the past have worked, you know, I mean, like you've always been in fairly decent shape, but you've never, like you've never finished or done something and been like, oh my God, I feel a thousand times better. Look at this improvement or look at this magnificent change. Yeah. Well, I mean, I didn't even, it wasn't even about the fitness per se. No, it's a meant more of a mental challenge. 75 hard. Is the, is the name. 75 days of a challenge, and it's extremely hard. Yeah. And that sounds like me saying it's extremely hard does no justice for this. Because it is very, very tough. So what is it, John? So um, <clears throat> our boy Andy Frisilla, shout out plug. <laughs> our boy. Uh, Andy Frisilla. Um, he is a entrepreneur, owns multiple businesses, one of them being First Form, you may or may not have heard it. It is a fitness and supplement company. He owns that and... He's got multiple podcasts. Yeah. Uh, MFCEO. Isn't his other one like Hard AF yeah. or something? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's what it's called. They're awesome on Spotify yeah. and everything. And we were talking about how he's our boy and stuff, but we've never met him. Or talked to him. Or talked to him ever. We can book him to be on our podcast. We can. That would be cool. It's on his uh, his website. Maybe we'll have to do that. That'd be dope. No, no, the last podcast I listened to was in prep for phase one going into this one. And he was like, you know, if you legit finish these 75 days, he's like, for real respect. And I was like, thanks, Andy. I feel you. All right. So Because seven- we for real did it. Yeah. No, it like, we really did do it. And By book. Let's keep on track. 75 hard is a lifestyle program. It's a mental challenge, mental toughness challenge. Right, right. Go ahead. Oh, okay, so it's a mental toughness challenge that Andy Frisella put together. And he says at the end of this 75-day period, you should be at the peak of your mental ability. Right? Like Yeah. Yes. If you follow the rules to the T exactly, you should reach the peak of your mental, but not of your mental potential thus far, I guess, in your life. Yeah. So, anyways, the rules to 75 hard. These are five simple rules. Simple is not the same as easy. Uh, that you have to follow for 75 days. No cheats, no breaks, no. Nothing. Forgets, no oops. Yeah. If you mess up one thing, you got to start over at the very beginning. So, like Molly said, there's five things you have to complete. And you have, from the time you get up, whatever time that is, and the t- until, excuse me, until the time you close your little beady eyes and go to sleep. 
the five rules are, number one, you have to drink a gallon of water. I'm a fan of adding a little bit of the, what are those things we get? Uh, stir, or like the stirs. Yeah. It's not Mio. It's a lot healthier than Mio. A lot healthier? Yes. Why is it healthier, John? I just, it's what it says on the big label. <laughs> it's healthy. It's, it's, um, it's sh- sweetened with stevia. Yeah, it's just water flavor. Because you drink a gallon of water every day for 75 days, it gets old. Number two is read 10 pages of a nonfiction book, which we tend to read those kinds of books anyways. I don't, you're not going to catch me reading like Lord of the Rings or anything. No, but I don't know. I'm not really a big, and and the rule is it has to be a like real tangible paper, right. or not paperback, but like paper. No hard book. covers. <laughs> no hard covers. Um. An actual book. Audiobooks don't count. Kindles don't count. You have to be holding a book in your hands. Which is, I haven't read a book and like a legit tangible book in I don't know how long. Yeah. Probably high was, school. That was new for me as well. Um, number three. Number three is diet. The kicker, no alcohol. Yeah. So you can, you just have to pick a diet and stick to it with no cheats and no alcohol. And I thought that would be the hardest part of the 75 days. No, God, you don't it have was, time to drink right, alcohol. It, it was tough for the first month. Yeah. We'll go into each of these. Okay, number four is you have to do two 45-minute workouts, two separate 45-minute workouts. One of them has to be outside. And number five which was my least favorite, is the progress photo. (laughs) You just have to take a progress photo every single day. Which I didn't like. Why? I I just don't, like, I don't know. I've never been a guy to, like, do the whole selfie thing and, like... Oh, we'll come back to that. All right, so number one, we are going to go into each of these and talk about them. And uh, we'll start the list with a gallon of water. Well, hold on. First, why did we even why did we even do We're this? We're all over the place. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so why? Uh, really, my why was because Molly told me to. I didn't tell you no, to. No, I'm just kidding. We, like a lot of people with COVID and having limited things to do because everything was closed, we drank a lot. We, we did. We did. We did do that. Uh, we were productive while drinking a lot. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, really, we just kind of got complacent. We, for me, it was more than that. For me, I was, like, feeling, like, down and, like, out of control of my life with COVID and a ton of stuff was going on at work and you and I were not getting along. Kids were driving me crazy. Um. I had just had COVID on top of all of the physical ailments I had been through in the we last couple it. years. Yeah, we both had it. But I was just talking from my perspective. So I was just feeling like completely out of control of my life. And you and I got into like a knockdown drag out fight one night. Not like yelling, but it was kind of one of those where we just laid everything out on the table like... This, this, and this is what I'm unhappy about. This, this, is this is what I'm unhappy about. And then there was, like, no solution to it. It was just like, well, we'll just agree to disagree kind of thing. And then you went to the fire station the next day, so we got, like, no closure at all. And I heard in two separate places about 75 hard the next day when you were at the fire station. And I was like fuck it, I've just got to do this. I've got to take control of my life. I need a mental challenge. I need to get my ass into shape anyway. So I'm doing this. So on my lunch break at work, I went to Publix, loaded up on groceries, and then I think I told you when I spoke with you on my way home that I was going to do it. You hadn't talked to me all day. It was one of those days where, like, we have a routine. Molly gets the kids in the car, and either she calls me right before dropping them off, Or, like, the second she leaves the parking lot of daycare, she calls me. Well, it was one of those fights where she didn't. And we hadn't talked, like, all day. And you texted me, like, late afternoon, and you were like, I'm doing this challenge called 75 Hard, do it with me. And you sent me the podcast. 
and I listened to it. So why did you say yes? Because you were mad at me. Really? I mean, at the moment, yeah. Like, I just wanted, I was like, God, I'm so tired of fighting with you. Okay, fine, I'll just do it. But then I I cheated. Because we started, I mean, we started that day. And I think the next day, we I went and had a beer. And I was still like, well, I'll do the challenge, but I'm going to drink one day a week. And so I didn't follow it. And finally, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. So we planned on starting it. The day after our conversation. Mm -hmm. But I was like, well, you know what? I'll do it with you, but I'm going to drink one day a week. I can't not drink one day a week. And then like two days afterwards, I was like, this is dumb. I'm just going to do it. Yeah, and I think I I started hardcore, but I had not listened to the podcast all the way through. So, like, I was doing, like, an hour and a half run instead of... Two, two workouts, two 45-minute workouts. Separately. One of them being outdoor, right? Yeah, so I was like, whatever, I have to start over again anyway. So we restarted together mm-hmm. and went all the way through. But that was only, like... It was, like, three or four days. Yeah, it was... We did a three or four-day false start, I guess. Okay, so a gallon of water. I literally went to Publix and bought a gallon of water and just filled up my uh my cup. tumbler. Yeah, Tervis. my tumbler. <laughs> yeah, I carried the bot the gallon around for a while. I don't and like drinking out of the gallon, it makes me spill it all over the place. Well, I'm not that dumb, but I felt really stupid carrying around a gallon jug. Like, you just look like a D when you drink out of a gallon jug. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I just poured it in my cup and then drank yeah. my cup and refilled it all day. Yeah. I had a, I, I went and got a, a Nalgene bottle. Yeah. And drank water out of that. But that wasn't bad. And honestly, that that was probably the quickest change I felt. Because I didn't drink a lot of water before. But like three or four days into drinking a gallon a day, I felt, I wasn't sore. Yeah. Like, I just felt better. I drink a lot of water. No, I didn't. And I thought it would be an easy transition for me. I'm like, nah, I'll just drink a little bit more. But it was not that easy. Maybe I wasn't drinking as much as I thought I was. Or maybe, I don't know. But there were a few nights where I was, like, chugging water before I went to bed. I can count, of like, right off the top of my head, two or three nights where we were both dead asleep. Or, like, getting to the point we had laid down, like, lights were off, we were <laughs> both going to sleep, and you would sit up in the bed and be like, crap, my water. <laughs> and then, like, an hour later, you get up peeing. I know. Oh, my gosh. I had to pee, like, in the middle of the night every night. It's a wonder I didn't want the bed. I wouldn't have held it against you. <laughs> All right, number two is reading 10 pages of a nonfiction book. We actually, through 75 days, we actually went through a few books. Mm -hmm. Paul's so John can drink his water. I had to drink my water. It's my last last of my gallon right there. I still have like three inches in my cup for tonight. So I'm not a reader. Um... I prefer the audio book. I, I'm the kind of person that like when I read something, I forget it. I don't retain. Right. So for me to get the most out of these books, I would have to reread. Right. In the first, oh, I read Extreme Ownership as my first book. And by Jocko Willink. Good book. And the first two or three chapters, I read just straight through. And when I went back to tell Molly about it or when somebody asked me about the book, it was kind of like I struggled to tell people what I read. And I was like, you know what? If I'm going to take the time to read this book, I want to understand the book. So, you know, Molly would rip through 10 pages in 15, 20 minutes. No, it took me about 30 minutes to read 10 pages. Which would piss me off because we'd start reading at the same time. She would finish and roll over and go to bed. And I'd still be reading and be like, enjoy the sleep, a-hole. But I 
I had to go back and reread, and I never took notes or anything. I probably should have, but I went. I had to go back and read things multiple times. Um, but I enjoyed it. I didn't think I would. I thought that would be one of the harder parts of the seventy-five ch- seventy-five hard challenge. Excuse me, but it was actually one of the easier parts. Not for me. And I think I'm doing, I was doing it wrong. I've switched it up this last time. So I was doing that last before I went to bed, I would read. And by the end of my day, I'm like freaking exhausted. And I'm one of those people that can fall asleep standing up. Like if I'm tired, I just fall asleep. So there were a number of times when I was, I wouldn't read in bed because I would pass out. So I'd go to the couch and read and I would fall asleep on the couch and wake up at like one in the morning and still have to read like three pages before I actually went to bed. Mm -hmm. Or I would have to get up and walk around the living room as I read. So now I've started reading when I wake up and that's so much better. I'm retaining better. I'm enjoying it more. It's quiet because the kids aren't up yet. So. Yeah. Yeah. I know of a couple nights where like you get two pages in and I would wake up and literally have like a freaking slime line from my mouth <laughs> to a drool stand on the book and be like, crap, I still have eight freaking pages to read. Oh, it was so awful. It, it was. Nights. And when you're so tired, mm-hmm. you physically can't keep your eyes open. <laughs> That's why I would have to get up and walk around. Oh, I would just power through it and go back and read the chapter again the next day. Like I would... <laughs> It would take me like an hour to get through 10 pages and be like, screw it. So I'll, miserable. I'll comprehend it tomorrow. <laughs> but I read it, you know. I said the words. Um. All right. Diet with no alcohol. Bum. Bum, bum. This one wasn't so bad. No, the diet wasn't bad at all. The no alcohol, like I said, was pretty bad for the first month. But after the first month... I don't know. We went through some 75 days. You go through John's 31st birthday. We were sober. Mm-hmm. We went to a friend's wedding, completely sober. Mm-hmm. A wedding party, completely sober. A wedding party. Yeah. Like the, um, the showers and mm-hmm. stuff, all of that, totally sober. But I mean, like we said earlier, that was almost easy because it was early on. All that stuff was, well, the wedding wasn't, the no. wedding was pretty far into it. Yeah, we only had, like, four weeks left after the wedding. But I was so freaking tired, and, like, I knew I had to get up and, like, do a badass workout the next day. And I had to drink a gallon of water. It's like I almost didn't have time to drink anything else. Yeah. I'm sure it was a combination of things, but I would attribute most of what I'm about to say to no alcohol. But I was – I haven't been that – clear-headed in a long time like just my th- my thoughts my putting words from my brain meat to my mouth <laughs> it, like I don't know oh I felt sharp too I was mm-hmm. I was going through some real bad crap at work um and I was totally sober through the whole thing so like after a absolute like this was literally the most stressful time in my career to date And I would come home and I couldn't have a glass of wine to shake it off on the weekends. I couldn't like drown my sorrows. So I would just run Mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. (laughs) If I would get overwhelmed with work and I was working at home a lot too. So even at the office, if I ever got super overwhelmed with work, I would just drop everything and either go run the sidewalk next to my office or go knock out a few miles at home. And then come back to my desk and deal with it. But it it taught me some healthy coping skills where I don't have to turn to alcohol to knock the edge off. You know, I found some healthy ways to do it. Mm-hmm. Although I wouldn't have minded a glass of wine on those days. Yeah, so the diet, we did macros. We counted our macros. Yeah, but we were, like, hardcore about this. Like, we didn't go to McDonald's and, like, figure in a double cheeseburger (laughs) to our macros. No, we ate good. We ate clean, Mm -hmm. like, we ate no junk. We went through Halloween without touching candy. High five. Legit. I'm a sweets guy. Like, through and through. I love sweets. And I can put my hand on the Bible and say I did not touch a single sweet, sugary artificially sugared 
right. candy in 75 days. I found a lot of substitutes. Like what? Apples. Oh, yeah. And gr- uh, not jelly, but uh, preserves. Yeah. And Greek yogurt. Fat-free Greek yogurt. Cinnamon, raisin, Dave's mm-hmm. killer bagels yeah. were my thing. Heat those up a little bit. Yeah, so we just, we counted our macros. We were really strict with it. And John and I, uh, we had similar macros. Like, we were both um, hardcore Mm low-fat. So we would both have to severely watch our fat intake. Which was tough because we're meat eaters. Meat eaters, big time. Like, we always buy a cow from one of John's friends up in um, Jasper, and we couldn't really eat a whole lot of red meat. No, we just got it, too. Yeah, we had just got it. So we would eat, like, if we ate a steak, then we could eat nothing but, like, fish or shrimp or lean meat for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. Which wasn't bad. No. No, it was, the diet was an adjustment, but I wouldn't say it was hard. We still ate, with the exception of sweets and alcohol, I mean, for the most part, we ate. On our little hiatus. Yeah, we ate the same. I mean, no, no, I'm milk. saying during during the the challenge, we still oh. ate. Yeah, it was just eating intentionally. It was just more intentional. Like, what are we having for dinner? Well, you know, what have I what have I not had today? Or, um, you know, we're having this for dinner, so I got to make sure. You know, I don't eat so many carbs for lunch or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, you had to be intentional and. Uh, plan out your meals. We logged our meals every day. Mm -hmm. Um, So we logged our macros every single day. Everything we ate, we logged. And toward the end, once I like started realizing what I was eating for breakfast and lunch pretty much every... Usually John and I kind of meal prep breakfast and lunch and then we we cook for dinner. Like we eat good for dinner. Um, And, you know, by the end I was just... The night before, I would just sit down and plug in all my meals for the next day. And I'll say that um, it wasn't expensive. Anytime in the past, anytime I've ever tried a diet or said, I'm going to eat this way, I always have to go out to the store and spend 150 bucks on food. Yeah. And, man, it was not – I would say, if anything, it was cheaper. I mean, I think that the things we bought, like, <clears throat> we didn't buy, like, crappy foods. Like, I got, like... Um, Lots of jasmine rice. Yeah, the rice we meat. bought. We bought, like, higher-end foods, but we weren't going out to eat hardly at all. Mm-hmm. We weren't drinking alcohol. We weren't buying any kind of fluff. And we were really consistent about, like, our condiments and the things we ate. So we were able to buy like a lot of things in bulk. Hot sauce on everything. Oh my god, ever and mustard <laughs> on do, everything. I don't, I don't do mustard. <laughs> Spicy mustard on everything. <laughs> um But no, that was that was a f- one of not one of the not so bad parts of the challenge. So, the two workouts, the two 45-minute workouts a day. I thought this would be other than time, I thought this would be easy for me because I love working out. You love working out. We're like, we're athletic people. We're active. I didn't think this would be as hard as it was. The act of working out wasn't hard. It was, like I said, it was the time and me just being tired. Mm-hmm. There was nothing worse. And my body freaking hurting. My body acclimated pretty quick. Oh my god, I was hurting so bad. Every day I was so sore. And my knee got messed up. Oh yeah? I had to ice my knee like crazy. Well, okay, so when we started these workouts, John and I decided to start running long, long-ish long distance. Long distance for us. It was just kind of a challenge that we... We we have always wanted to kind of dabble in it, and we just never have been runners. I don't know. You used to be. I mean, not like I didn't do like track and field. It was just for sports. Yeah. Like I, we, I ran a lot in lacrosse. I mean, like when we started, I legit didn't know if I could run a mile consecutive, like yeah, jog I agree. a mile. I agree. And I, I don't think I could. I don't think I did for a long time. 
Yeah, I'd be lying to you if I said I like jogged a straight mile out of the gate. Maybe I did. I can't remember. I, I don't think we I did. did like the walk runs for the longest yeah, time. Yeah. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> we kind of took the more one one workout was cardio and the other was like either like a high intensity training weight training or or we lifted so we did one or the other and most of the time the cardio was outside yeah normally we did our cardio outside there were a few days where um we started in august so august 28th it was hot weather but it was nice weather um and there were a few days where I, like, took my yoga mat outside and did yoga in the yard and stuff like that. So we did do yoga sometimes. Um, the weekends were our yoga time a lot. But mostly it was, like, throwing the kids in the stroller and going for a run. Mm-hmm. Maddox got to where he hated. Yeah, he hates runs. And he's like, I don't want to go in the stroller because he knew he was going to be in there for, At you least know, almost an minutes, hour. Yeah. yeah. Um, but... I was surprised at how easy and what we accomplished in 75 days. As far as physically? Yeah. I mean, we, oh, like, me too. like you said, we went from really not even probably being able to run a mile to doing a 10K. Yeah. Right? I mean, not, not fast by any stretch, but I mean, by the end we were running, I mean, one of the last runs we had was all through Ackworth and we did it over six miles. Yeah, I mean, that day, well, the day I hurt my knee, <clears throat> I did seven miles and just knocked out seven miles. So, like, at first, I didn't even know if we could run a mile. That was, like, my goal to be able to run a mile consecutively. And we got through that easy, mm-hmm. pretty quick. And then my next my next goal for myself was, and, of course, John, like, surpassed me in all of these. He was running with a 40-pound weight vest on and stuff and I was like huffing trying to keep up with him and stuff but my next goal for myself was to be able to run a 5k and I blew through that like halfway through the 75 days and like now we go out and we run four miles like literally every day no problem at all today I did four this morning no I didn't I did did a burn workout this morning don't even try and flex okay never mind (laughs) But we like running four miles every day. Is tomorrow happening. we'll both knock out at least four. I'll do at least four tomorrow. Yeah. I'll probably lift in the morning and run in the afternoon. Yeah. So I mean the my my physical milestones were crazy through all of this. Mm-hmm. I couldn't even do a push up on without like being on my knees when I started this, and I've been working out like I work out a lot. I'm not, I wasn't necessarily out of shape. For me, I was, I guess. But, like, I couldn't even do a push-up on my toes. And now, I mean, I can, we did this at Burn. I go to Burn Boot Camp. They're amazing. Shout out, Kennesaw and Alfredo. Blog, hashtag. I love them. Um, But we did this 100 burpee challenge. And on the first 50 burpees, I stayed on my toes, which is crazy for my push-up. I enjoyed it. I'm the the two workouts. Time sucked. There was nothing worse than like getting home, getting so tired, and then being like, "Oh my god!" I still have a workout. There were so many times that we put we would put the kids down, and they would be up and down and up and down, and we wouldn't really get them down until like nine thirty or ten o'clock. And we still had an and, outdoor workout. And we would still be like, <laughs> "God dang it, man! We still have to go do something." And then we couldn't. We couldn't just take off and run because we have the kids. So we would do driveway workouts. And one of our neighbors is like looking out the window like, what the hell are they doing in the driveway at 11 o'clock at night? Yeah. Yeah. There were a couple of midnight workouts. Doing it. Oh, it was so hard. I made sure to wear my extremely short shorts <laughs> every time we did that. Like my uh, silky shorts. I realized we love running in the rain. Hmm. I love running. I wouldn't say love. I prefer it. Oh, my nipples chafe. I would so much rather run in the rain than like in the freaking 100 degree weather that we were running in. Oh, see, I love to sweat. I love to sweat. I don't feel like I get a good workout unless I sweat. Like now that it's so cold, Mm -hmm. my heart rate will be like 170 and I'm freaking trucking and I'm not sweating and I'm like, this is bullshit. 
Oh, I still come back soaking wet. You sweat a lot. I never used to. Like, That's something crazy. Molly would come to the gym with me, and we wouldn't even be doing anything crazy. We'd be doing, like, shoulders. <laughs> you know, like, third set of shoulder press, and she is, like, freaking dripping sweat. And she's like, is this normal? <laughs> it's that gallon of water. It was 9 o'clock in the morning. I've been drinking a gallon of water for however many days. Well, you're a sweater. I never used to be, though. Mm-mm. That's well, crazy. you never really worked out like this, either. I've been going to burn boot camp for over a year. I guess. All right. Two progress photos. Or no, not two. I'm sorry. Just a progress photo a day. Yeah. One progress photo a day. Um, at the end of the day, we didn't really do any like side by sides the whole time. And then at the end of the 75 days, John and I both sent each other a side. We finished our 75 days when he was at the fire station, of course. And we sent each other a side by side and they were freaking crazy. Yeah, it was ridiculous. I didn't realize how thick I was. <laughs> you were a... What is it? <laughs> I said thick-ass boy. Damn, boy, you're a thick-ass <laughs> boy. Damn, boy. <laughs> Damn, boy. Damn, he's thick, boy. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny, but it kills me. Um, I am very glad that we did that. And I'll be honest, like... Obviously, Molly has seen me with my shirt off <laughs> and letting her take a picture of me the very first day we did that. I was like, this is weird. This is weird. And I'll, I'll tell you this, and I hope Molly does too. I started, I started the challenge at almost 280 pounds. I was 276 when we started. So day one. I weighed 276 pounds, and day 75, I weighed 240. That's crazy. And I just didn't realize how terrible, number one, I felt, and how terrible I looked. Yeah. And I still have a lot of work to do, you know, don't get me wrong, but, like, you just get so complacent. And if it wasn't for the progress photo, I don't think... I would have truly gotten that, like, gratification. Yeah. You know? So I know it serves its purpose, but it was not my favorite thing to do. It's, like, something tangible that you have that you can look at, and it's, like, in your face. Mm -hmm. Like, this is how much you've changed. Like, I mean, I think our outward appearance was just, like, a, like, it just showed us how much we as people had changed throughout the whole thing. Right. Um. I lost less than John. John almost lost 40 pounds. I lost 19. Eight, I 18 or 19 pounds. 19. I didn't meet my goal but, quite. But yours, I feel like yours was way more noticeable. Like, you lost weight in places that I didn't know you could lose weight. You know, like, if you were just wearing your sports bra and you would turn around, like, like there were creases in your arm that were gone. Like, where your arm meets your back. Yeah. Like, you had less creases. Like, you lost weight, and you looked... Girl, you look like an hourglass. Show. Sure. That freaking thick waist with a... Don't know. It's skinny waist with a big old behind, girl. <laughs> I still got my big old behind. No, it... it I, I feel like yours was way more, like, in your face. I think my, my transformation... Like, 19 pounds doesn't sound like a lot. Like, I was kind of disappointed that I didn't meet my goal weight. I was a, I was a few pounds away from it. <clears throat> Two pounds away from it. I didn't meet my goal weight. But looking at my photo, it was very obvious how much I toned. I, we weight lifted a lot. Mm -hmm. So I know I'm stronger. We've already talked about, like, our physical milestones and stuff. I'm very happy with. Oh, yeah, me too. And like John said, I have a long way to go, but. Well, that's, that's what's so awesome about this challenge. So those are the five and really it doesn't matter what lifestyle you, what lifestyle you live, what conditions you have, what your financial means are, what, you know, doesn't matter. What your diet restrictions you are. You can absolutely do this. Yeah, we were worried about time. I mean, I'm 
speaking for just me, I'm a full-time working mom. I'm involved with my kids, very involved with my kids. I'm very involved with work. Um, I'm very involved with my husband. We still like to have us time as well. Uh, babysitters are not an every weekend kind of thing mm-hmm. for us. And I mean, hell, if, if we can make time to do stuff like this, it, it really shows you how you can prioritize your day yeah. and how you can make time for important things. Like we would go to a wedding, you know, in the evening and we would knock out our two workouts with the kids the, you know, the morning before. Or we'd get the babysitter and leave the wedding early and not tell the babysitter that we left the wedding early and go do a workout. Yeah. You know, what what she's saying is totally true. You don't realize how much time is wasted until you're searching for time to to do things, like until you yeah. you need time to find. Like our Netflix binges yeah. did not happen for no, 75 no. days. Like we, there was enough time for that and that's it pretty much. But now we've started phase one, which is the 30 day challenge. Um, Andy Frasilla says 75 hard is the boot camp. And then phase one is your first like step in the real challenge. Yeah. And I wanted to say that's where I was going to go and say that like, I will forever do some form of this. This has for sure become a part of my, our lifestyle. Yeah. 100%. Um, I don't know. Well, I shouldn't say that. I think I want to do 75 hard again. I, I am going to. Well, we talked about doing it every year. Like, there's four phases. So, yeah, 75 is, hard and then four phases. Yeah. So, the, 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 is it the Stay Hard or just 75 Hard program? I think it's called Stay Hard. Whatever. Or Live Hard. It's called Live, live hard. hard. That's yeah. right. So the, Hashtag Live Hard. The Live Hard program is a year. The yeah. whole process is to, is supposed to take an entire year. And then you get breaks in between each phase. Um. And we just came off a month break. Yeah, through the holidays. Yeah. Um. So we'll we'll do thirty days. We're day three in. Day two. Yeah, day two. Day we two started in. yesterday. Um. For phase one. And we'll take another thirty days off after phase one and get into phase two. Um. But I will tell you that in the month we took off, I felt guilty. Like, I legit felt like I was cheating and... I just felt disgusting. If I didn't do these five things. Yeah, we did them, like, Monday through Friday. We took... So, when we were done with our challenge, we took a weekend in Charleston. Mm-hmm. And that was awesome. An adult weekend in Charleston. It was great. We still went for a run. We ran through Charleston. Hung over as hell. Yeah. Oh, my God. I thought I was going to puke on that run. But it was so pretty. And then we did the holidays, so, you know, we had the drinks with the fams through the holidays. and Ate ate a ton. Ate the good stuff on, you know, New Year's Day and Christmas Day. Um, But for the most part, other than that, we pretty much stuck to it. I didn't take progress photos. Oh, I didn't do that either. (laughs) And we didn't read. Mm -mm. We stuck stuck to the health aspect of it, the diet and exercise. Yeah. There was like three days where I didn't work out. At all? I don't think I had that. Oh, I did. It was mostly days that I was at work. Yeah. But jumping back into it today, or yesterday, wasn't so bad. It's just trying to find your time. And then on phase one, you have to add three more tasks. Um. So again, it's time. And I've started waking up at 5 a.m. with John. Lord help us all. But I'm doing it. You've done it. You've done it well. I mean, you haven't been a freaking bear or anything. You actually woke up this morning and were like, chipper. I wouldn't say that. You weren't with me this morning. Yesterday morning. Yeah. It was my first day. I also took a nap at 8 o'clock in the morning. (laughs) Well, I would highly recommend this to anybody. Yeah. That not only wants to make health changes, but just needs a challenge. Because this was... Get your mind right. Yeah, it was a great challenge. And and you can absolutely do it. If you look on YouTube, there's a lot of um, people that have done it from all walks of life. From single you know, college people to 
business people to mm-hmm. families to you know grandparents whatever so you can definitely do this and it is so worth it you Andy Frasilla Fris- says I have not in the hundreds of thousands of people that have contacted me about successfully completing this not one of them has said this it, I didn't get out of it yeah, what I wanted yeah. to. Not, not one person that has truly completed this challenge has been disappointed. Mm-mm. You will get results. If you do this for 75 days, if you follow these five objectives for 75 days. To the T. He says, don't, audiobooks don't count. Like, don't, don't cater this to No, that's part of the life. challenge. Yeah. Like, you just do it. Period. Mm-hmm. This is what you do. Not 44 minutes, not 43 minute workouts. It is 45 minute workouts. Mm-hmm. You know? It's not nine and a half pages. It's not 9.75 pages. It is 10 pages. Mm -hmm. It's not a cup short a gallon. It's not a drop short a gallon. A gallon of water. Yep. No cheat meals, no cheat days on your diet. So, But it is so worth it. And I will say it it was, I'm sure it was so much easier because we did it together. Oh, totally. Oh, man. Yeah. There were multiple times where I was like, God, F this. Mm -hmm. F this. And you were like, don't be a b- bitch voice. <laughs> bitch voice. Who says that? Um, Goggins? Goggins d- says that. Is it Goggins? No, it's um, Willink. It's, um, Is it Jocko? Jocko says that. You sure? D- isn't he the one that runs? And he's like, when you get tired. No, that's Goggins. Oh, that's Goggins? No, it was somebody else. It was somebody we don't listen to often. <laughs> but it was some it was some video you watched and he was just running. And when you get tired Get back on the log. <laughs> get back on the log. That's just your bitch voice. <laughs> That's gonna drive me insane. I gotta know who said that now. It's Jocko. It wasn't Jocko. Anyways, we love you guys. We're pumped to be back. If any of you want to be on the podcast and you think you're cool enough, Holla. yeah, let us know. Um, we got some pretty cool people in mind. Yeah, we reached out to a couple people with some potential. Andy, hit us up. I don't know that I would want to. <laughs> I'd be scared. <laughs> I feel like like we would do it, and I'd be like, "All right, let's delete that," because <laughs> I would just be like, "Yes, sir." Yes, sir. I'm drinking my gallon now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just need him to scream into the mic. He says the F word a lot. We've said it a couple times. I mean, not like him. <laughs> <sighs> you got any th- any closing statements? Nope. Well, until next time, fam. Peace. Holla.